The instruments we're going to use today include the toothed forceps, needle holder, and scissor. The rings of the needle holder are mounted on the thumb and the ring finger of your dominant hand. The middle finger is placed on the angle between ring and shank, index finger on or supporting the joint, little finger extended to provide support and stabilize. The forcep is held like a pen in the other hand for precision. Today, we're going to focus on our needle holder. In particular, the two ways to hold it. The first, as demonstrated, with the fingers mounted for routine suturing. and also in a palm grip for suturing at depth, at an angle, or backhanded. This is particularly useful when you're unable to rotate your wrist fully from prone to supine to pass the needle through the correct range of movement whilst your fingers are mounted within the rings of the needle holder. Let's look at this in more detail. Middle, ring and little fingers cascade over the ring of the needle holder. The index finger stabilizes the needle holder at the joint. With the needle stable within what is being sutured, the ring finger enters the ring of the needle holder, then the thumb, the ratchet unlocked and the needle retrieved. The needle holder is palmed. The needle passes through the skin. You mount the ring finger, then the thumb. The ratchet is unlocked and the needle is retrieved. We now look at our scissors and forceps. If you're suturing alone or you'll be making ongoing use of the instruments, you can reduce time wasted by keeping the essential ones in your hands. With only your ring in the ring of the scissors, it can be rotated proximally towards the wrist and the needle holder within the usual fashion as seen at the start of this tutorial. The suture passes through the skin The forcep is held within our first web space. We wrap the thread around only the tips of the needle holder, the long and short thread alternating to create square knots. The needle remains on the short thread once pulled through the loop to create a reef knot. All sutures are held taut by a non-dominant hand. The scissors rotated out of your palm by your thumb. The thumb engaging the ring of the scissor to allow you to cut. The process can then be repeated.